All right guys, today I'm headed out to Rainbow River again. We're gonna go over the top tips you need to know before visiting. So, let's get started. Tip number one, food and drinks. You need to know on Rainbow River, no alcohol is allowed, no food or drink packaging that is disposable. So, if it's one use and you can throw it away, it's not allowed. Be sure to bring reusable bottles for your water or your teas or Gatorades, whatever it is you're drinking, and food the same way. You're having chips, you need to take them out of the bag, put them in reusable a- Reusable Ziploc container, or you can use Tupperware, whatever it is. It just needs to be reusable. You need to know, uh, sheriffs are on the water, especially in the summertime, and they do do cooler checks. So don't mess around with it. It's not worth getting a ticket over. Tip number two protected areas and areas you're not allowed to go when you're on the river. People's private yards, their docks, you're not allowed to get on them, dock on it, climb up in their yards. You are also not allowed to go up on any of the banks. All of these areas you're not allowed to go up on, they're protected. There's a lot of eroding going on from people going on it. Unfortunately, you know, it happened at Three Sisters in Crystal River. Three Sisters is now shut down for them to restore it. So when you come out here, you leave your kayaks, paddle boards on the actual water, anchor down, and then you can enjoy it. But don't climb on the sides. That leads us into tip number three. You've got to visit Gissy Springs. Look how crystal clear, y'all. And all the little fishy in the water. Gissy Springs is absolutely stunning. Let me tell you, this place is amazing. The trail goes so far back. It's only about, it goes from roughly knee to thigh high. I'm 5'8", I'm so it's not very deep. It's perfect for little ones. The water, I mean, y'all look at that. It's crystal clear. It's incredible. It's so beautiful. Now, once you get to the end, there will be a gate that says no trespassing. That is the end. That's private property. But this is definitely, y'all, this area is one you need to visit. Located just past the campground uh, kayak area and KP. It's on the opposite side of KP Hole. Not a far paddle if you're launching from either one of those. And it is spectacular. Y'all, it's tubing season. And that brings us to tip number four. No personal tubes are allowed anymore, unless you are launching from the campsite or you are staying at an Airbnb, a Verbo on the river, or you live on the river. Other than that, yeah, they've axed the personal tubes, which kind of sucks. So you can no longer bring your own tubes and launch from the other locations. Just understand you're gonna have to pay that, you know, I think it's up to $20 per person now. I'm not sure, honestly, if that includes the shuttle. I will put the links in the description for all of the launch points on Rainbow River, which will be the Head Springs, the Campground, KP Hole, and Blue Run. So I would suggest, because depending on when you're watching this video, just call ahead of time and find out what changes have happened with the pricing. Number five, gator safety. It's Florida. There's gators in the water. You just have to deal with it. It's their home, but you can do it in a way where you're safe they're safe, and everybody has a fantastic day. So here we go. Don't feed the gators. Don't feed the gators. Bad idea, super illegal. You can end up in jail, huge fine. Just don't feed them. Also, don't get super close to them. Enjoy them from a distance. Don't throw things, don't mess with them, don't try to touch them. Keep a safe distance and understand during mating season and baby season, those mamas are gonna do whatever they need to do to protect those babies. So if you go messing with them because those little babies are super cute, like these ones. Yeah, they're gonna come after you, so just don't do it. Tip number six, life vest and whistle rules while on the water. Y'all, you have no idea how many times I see parents with tiny ones, no life vests on the water. Stupid, stupidest thing you can do. This river can get up to 30 feet in certain areas. It looks like it may be four feet deep. It is not. Put life vests on your kids for crying out loud. 
the law states six and under have to wear them. Also has to have a vessel, they also have to fit. Now, over six, you can have it on your vessel with the whistle, again, it has to actually fit. But six and under, they have to wear a life vest. If y'all are finding this video useful so far, please do me a favor, hit that like button. Also, share this with somebody you know that's planning a trip to Rainbow River because a lot of these things people just aren't aware of. And it just helps your vacation and your trip go so much smoother. Tip number seven. If you are planning on tubing, expect a longer trip than you actually think it's going to be. Here's the reason why. Depending on the current, your butt drags in the water, it can be much longer to get down the river. There's a lot of people who they think, oh, it's only gonna be about an hour and a half and two hours. And then it takes them like five or six to get all the way from KP to Blue Run. So definitely prepare for a longer trip. Make sure you have plenty of sunscreen. There are areas that you'll be able to get off the side, reapply. When you do reapply, wait at least 15 minutes, let it soak into your skin before getting back into the water because it does damage our waters. And if at all possible, find one that is water friendly for natural springs, rivers, oceans, and then you're gonna be good to go. All right, y'all, tip number eight. Let's just say that so many people come out on the river, they don't bring enough water. Bring enough water. Let me tell you, Florida, we've got two temperatures in the summertime. We have hot, and then we have, your face is gonna melt off hot. Make sure you bring enough water to actually do the trip. Whatever you think you need, bring double, because let me tell you, it gets hot on top of the water, and there is nothing worse than getting dehydrated on top of sunburned. So, sunscreen, extra water, You'll thank me later. Number nine. Y'all make sure you bring a snorkel because let me tell you, the snorkeling on this river is fantastic. Now you can also dive on this river as well. There are uh, diving charters that will take you up river and you'll be able to actually just come all the way back down the river it is an incredible, incredible trip. You're gonna see everything from turtles, fish, alligator gar, otters. I, I mean, it's just incredible to see what is underneath the water. Now, one thing I do need to mention is you do need to be aware when you are on a boat, in a kayak, on a paddleboard, you're going to see dive flags, okay? Those are divers in the water. They can be snorkelers in the water. You need to pay attention and not run over them. It's your responsibility. That's why they have the flags out. So pay attention. Don't just plow right over them. You can see the bubbles up over the water. Let me zoom in. Now you can actually see where their tanks and their bubbles are. You just need to pay attention and simply go around. All right, y'all, tip number 10. When you're entering or exiting with your paddleboard and kayak, don't take 20 years to do it on the ramps. Get in the water, get situated. It can get backed up very, very quickly. Also, you know, the dock areas and the launch areas, they're not for swimming and just sitting there and hanging out. Don't do that, signs are posted. It's very aggravating for people who are paddling trying to just keep the flow going because in the summertime, the river can get very, very packed. So just be sure that when you are ready to enter, all of your stuff is together. You've got everything on your kayak, on your paddleboard. Just enter the water and then enjoy the day. All right, y'all. If you stuck around to the end, you totally deserve a bonus tip. So here you go. Tip number 11, get to the river early. Parking becomes a nightmare. You're not gonna find any, honestly, just get here way earlier than you think. If you come in past like 9 a.m. in the summertime, you're not gonna find parking at the Head Springs, you won't find it at KP Hole, and you're not gonna find it at Blue Run. So be sure that you're ready to go for the earlier shift. Unless you're tubing and you're at one of the places that shuttles you up to drop you off, you'll definitely wanna actually take off earlier in the day. I hope you enjoyed this video of the 10 top tips before you visit Rainbow River. As always guys, until the next video, 
get outside and make some memories. We'll see you next time.